Greetings, Kerbonauts. This is Scribble Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and this is AMA number 10. Today we're going to be looking at the 1.0 fairings, because I'll bet you there are some of you with some questions about how to make those fit around your payloads. Let's go take a look. For starters, we're going to need something that we can launch. So I'll go in here to the ZMAP satellite kit from the stock group and we'll grab this one and we're just going to add a fairing to this. Now first of all, these are going to stick out and make the fairing a little bit cumbersome, really fat looking. So let's not have anything sticking out too much. We want to keep that nice in line with the rest of the rocket. Next we need to locate the fairing over here on the aerodynamics tab. There are a couple choices. We have small, medium, and large that we can choose from. Obviously, we are going to be going with the small variety. I'm going to put that right under here. We're going to take off these struts and put this right under there. The decoupler for the payload is already up here under there. So the fairing is going to go a little bit around the rocket that is down here and a little bit around the payload itself. That's just about perfect. Now, when we right click on the fairing part, you're going to see things says build fairing. Click on that and you're going to start seeing the fairing as it can go up and around your payload. Right over here you're going to see some green or gray text. When it's green that means it's in a good position and gray it's not. Left mouse button sets a position and right cancels it. So here's what we can do. We can drag it up just a little bit like that. Notice that the text for the left mouse button says green. So I'm going to click, which is now gonna create a second section. See, it stopped that first section down there. We're going to lift this up a little bit, but we need the text to stay green and we wanna get it around the payload, but not too much around the payload. So right about there ought to be good. So I'm going to click again. This is gonna create another section, which we can extend up to about there, get it above the payload. Notice as I move the mouse in and out, we can change the diameter at the top. Once we have it up where we want it, right about there ought to completely cover everything. Notice the text for left mouse button is still green, so we click and now we can seal it by moving the mouse in over the center. We give it whatever shape cone we want. Suppose I want it to have a nice pointy tip to it. Then I'll lift it all the way up here before I click, at which point it automatically closes out the fairing. Then if we just mouse over, we can see that it zooms the pieces in and out and lets me gain access to them. So for example, if I had forgotten my MechJeb module, then I can go over here into there and grab my MechJab module and stick it, let's say, right there, right through the fairing. That now lets me see the delta V values for all these stages. Among the stages, we are now going to see that there's this new fairing part, and that's where the fairings are going to decouple once that activates, of course. So we'll have a little bit that we need to do to modify this, because under this new aerodynamic model, we don't need to have the same high thrust to weight values that we used to have during stock. Let's merge these together so that all of these activate at once. And that will allow us to see that if we didn't change anything, this would be a 3.12 thrust to weight, and that is way too much. So we are going to lower this thrust down until it gets, let's say, I'm going to put it at about, yeah, there we go, 1.67. Now the solids will last a little bit longer. The next stage up is also a little bit high on the thrust to weight ratio. So we can go up there and limit that thrust to maybe the same, oh look at that, 1.67 again. So we'll just do that on both of them. Then we need to adjust where we want our fairing to decouple. We have stage one down here, then we decouple the solids. By that point, we'll probably be high enough that we can get rid of the fairing. So that's where you're going to want to put that right in there. Then after that, we go to the next stage and the next stage, and this is ready to launch. So with our fully new stock 1.0, we now activate and away we go. You can immediately start tipping the nose right from 50 meters per second. Just tip that over and as you get going faster, you can then start going over a little bit more. Once we're passing by about 5,000 meters, we can have it right in between the, the dot right there and the 90. We can see a nice aerodynamic effect on there, a little bit of screen shake, some of the new features in 1.0. Decouple those boosters and we keep on going. 
Typically, once we're past 40 kilometers, that's when I like to get rid of the fairing, so we'll do that now. Uh-oh! Maybe was going a little bit too fast, maybe still a little bit too low into the air. I guess from now on I'll just wait until I'm above 70 kilometers instead of 40, that way the air turbulence won't make those fairings go willy-nilly. Anyway, from here it's a fairly standard launch, although the delta-v requirements to get to low carbon orbit are very similar to what it was like back in the last version with Ferrum Aerospace, about 3300, maybe 3400. So get your KSP 1.0 and get building. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.